Hello viewers, this is Hey Rotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Previously in our questing, we got a very sheepish Puff Puff. That girl sure doesn't know how to do a Puff Puff, does she? However, now we'll carry on with our questing. For our next quest, we'll visit the King in Stornway. Hello, King Shot. Oh, it's you, Herot. I'm glad to see you, so I am. Oh, are you now, sir? The thing is, I've been having these bad dreams. It's really starting to get to me. I asked one of the castle staff to bring me some medicine to see if that might help, but it didn't do a thing. I thought it might be something to do with that white knight, but it's got no better since all that was sorted out. Oh, sorry to hear that shot. What do you think? Can you help me get rid of these bad dreams? There'll be a reward in it for you, of course. Oh, of course, Mr. King. We're now taking on Quest 127. Fantastic! I knew I could count on you! Now in these dreams, a big dark shadow appears before me and starts to whisper. It says, if you wish to escape the clutches of the Empire, you must entrust yourself to my powers. Don't do it, King. I've no idea what Empire it's going on about, so how can I know if I want to escape it? It's all very disturbing. Trust me, you want nothing to do with that Empire, King Shot. There was a peddler here not long ago who mentioned someone in Wormwood Creek who's a bit of an expert on dreams. Ah, a dream expert, eh? There must be some way to stop the nightmares. Can you go there and find out what I have to do to get rid of them? With pleasure. The quest, A Right Royal Nightmare. So let's go find the stream expert in Wormwood Creek. We'll come out here and zoom to that town. The town of rampant xenophobia. We'll find her over here in the church. Ah, gold! Two whole gold coins. Greetings! I am Clairvoyant, Traveling Dream Specialist Extraordinaire. Claire Voyant, eh? If your dreams are troubling you in any way, I can help. And they are. Your dreams are driving you to distraction, are they not? Well, someone's are. Yes, yes, Claire Voyant sees all. So, reveal the nature of your grievance. Tell me your deepest, darkest secrets. If we must. Hmm? Do I not have a remedy for bad dreams to prevent them from tormenting you? But of course I do. I'm clairvoyant, dream specialist extraordinaire. Nonetheless, I need ingredients to make such a remedy. Will you gather them for me? Well, if we have no other choice, 
First and foremost, I need a piece of malasite. That is most important. Remember it well. Item 1, malasite. Furthermore, I shall require some manky mud and some sage's elixir. When you have all three things, return to me here, and I shall concoct you the remedy of your dreams. Alrighty, Claire. So, item one, malasite. We can get that from blood mummies and the bowhole. So we'll head to the bowhole first. A perfect three-point landing. We'll drop down here. And we'll try to find some blood mummies. In fact, we'll try to sneak up on them with Vanish. Ah, there is a blood mummy. Some blood mummies draw near. Let's try to steal from them with half inch. And might as well keep our HP up as well. The Malasite is a rare drop, though. More likely, we'll get grubby bandages. So, we'll get rid of the first one. And steal from the second one. Another grubby bandage. Alrighty. Time to send you back to your mummy mommy. Bye bye. A bit later. Ah, uh, here's a blood mummy. Maybe this one will have the malasite for us. Let's get rid of Mr. Goodie Bag first, before it starts pestering us with spells. Mm. Spells mm. like Kasap. Goodbye, goodie bag. Well, one out of two attacks blocked. That's good for Jess. Steal away! I said steal away. Ah, oh, there we go. Some malasite. Now we can get rid of these blood mummies. Bye bye, you bloody mummies. Ah, the goodie bag dropped a treasure chest with a Brighton Rock. 
Alrighty. We can now get out of here. So, Malosite. Now to Gittingham Palace. And from here we shall fly. To the Tower of Nod. Hello, Tower of Nod. There's no point gooing all the way to the top of this tower. All you'll find is that lady old that lazy old blob Nod off snoring away in his nest. And trust me, no matter how many slimes you try, you won't be able to wake him up. Ah, oh, so Nodoff must be the monster at the top of the tower. Well, one of the DLC-enabled quests will enable us to fight that blob. Now we have some freezing fogs. Let's get rid of Cumulus Vex. And steal from the freezing fogs. Ow. Up, oh, no increasing of tension, please. No cool breath, please. Ah, Sage's Elixir. Yes, you can steal Sage's Elixir from those guys. Rather than making it in the alchemy pot. Seems pretty convenient, eh? Axes of Evil for the Freezing Fogs. Some healing for Jess. And let's go with Kaboom! Ah, nice block. More tension? I think not. Get him, Jess. Only one remains. Let's finish him off, team. Bye-bye, Cumulus Vex. You have vexed me for long enough. Alright. So, that is one Sage's Elixir. Stolen with not too much difficulty. Now we can get out of here. And we'll seek out that final ingredient, the Manky Mud. I believe some can be found in Eastern Doomingale. Right here. Two masses of manky mud. Now let's head off to Stornway and report to the king. Let's see. Malosite, manky mud, and Sage's elixir. Might as well rest here. Nice that the zoom spell doesn't consume MP in this game.
Thank you, thank you. Actually, we need to head to Wormwood Creek to get that girl to mix up her concoction. Clairvoyant. Greetings again. You have brought the required items? Yes, I have. Work your spell. The Malasite, the Mankey Mud, and the Sage's Elixir. Will you relinquish them to me? Here you go. Hey, Rot hands Clairvoyant, the Malasite, the Mankey Mud, and the Sage's Elixir. Yes, yes! These are the items I require. I have craved them for so long. First, the Malasite. This... I will retain as a reward for myself. Now I will use the remainder to create the mysterious concoction. First, the Mankey Mud. Hubble, bubble, stir and squish. Next, a dash of the Sage's Elixir. Yes, we just sprinkle it on, like so. And lastly, but most importantly of all, I must concentrate all my dream power, and channel it into the mixture. Now we just pop it into a little jar like so, screw on the lid, and voila! The reverie remedy that is, Nightmare Nurse! Sleep with an open jar of Nightmare Nurse right beside your pillow. Do so, and you shall be rid of your bad dream tribulations. So, we get some Nightmare Nurse. Thank you, Claire. Visit me again whenever you are riled by nighttime nasties. Oh, but don't go drinking the potion by mistake. That would be a tragic mistake, and a fatal one. Uh, we'll be sure to let his King Linus know. Now we're off back to Stornway. Hello again, Stornway. We certainly come back to this place a lot. Now we're going to head up to the King. And deliver this Nightmare Nurse. A possibly deadly potion that banishes bad dreams. Do not consume. Oh, you're back, Herot. And by the look on your face, you've got hold of something good. Well, can I see it? Here you go, King. Yes, let's give King Shot the Nightmare Nurse. Hey, Rot hands King Shot the Nightmare Nurse. Ha ha! Nightmare Nurse, eh? Am I supposed to drink it? No, 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 don't you dare drink it. No? I see. You don't drink it, you inhale it. Let's see, then. If this were Skyrim, you could probably tell him to drink it. King Shot takes the lid off the jar. An incredibly strong smell fills the air. Guaranteed to kill what ails you. Losh! What is this smell? It's enough to blow your head off! <laughs> <coughs> Whatever it is, it shall certainly scare away the demons lurking about the place. And your servants too, I'd warrant. 
I suppose I'd better give it a go, seeing as you brought it for me especially. Well, thank you, ah, uh, ever so much. I suppose I'd better give you a reward to s compensate you for your time, eh? That would be appreciated. We get a pair of minister's mittens. And a pair of blessed boots. Now all I have to worry about is whether or not I'll be able to get any sleep with this incredible whiff in the air. So that concludes Quest 127, A Right Royal Nightmare. So we have completed a few of the extra quests. Okie dokie, Stella. Minister's Mittens. Looks like only priests can equip those. Decent stats, it appears. As well as these blessed boots. But I think I'd rather he have the evasion chance. All right. Now, before the next episode, I intend to do a bit of leveling. A great good bit of leveling. So that hopefully we can get some better treasure maps and grottos. This is Hey Rotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.